Hello the internet. It is Monday the 5th of June 2017, day three of my stay here at the Navutu Stars in the Yasawa Islands in Fiji. It rained all night last night. It was beautiful to hear the rain on the roof of this thatched bure. Can you see that? But now let's see what's happening outside, whether we have beautiful weather or whether we have cloudy weather. Either way, it's gonna be beautiful. Hmm. Let's get out there for a closer inspection. The good news is there is some sunshine. And if yesterday's anything to go by, the weather can change here very, very rapidly. Yesterday morning, woke up as you saw on the vlog and it was completely clear and sunny, a little bit of cloud. And then by the afternoon, it was completely different. So using that theory, fingers are crossed that this is gonna clear out into a perfect day here in Fiji. The weather changes here super rapidly, which is great. I spent the morning eating a big breakfast just like yesterday. Then the tide came in and now I'm gonna take a walk to the western end of the island. Yesterday I went the other way to the east. Today I'm walking around pretty much underneath where I went on the Nawaka Waka hike. <laughs> So this is the western point of the beach. It's as far as you can see from the Navutu Stars. Once you go around this corner, you are entering, well, the other night when I was on the sunset, it's right up there, up top. That's Goat Island there. How's all those fish just going nuts? Like, must be a big fish chasing the little fish. They just come skipping out all over the water. Super cool. On yesterday's vlog, and if you haven't seen that up there, I gave my final thoughts on the Sea View 180 full face snorkel mask from Wild Horn Outfitters. In that video, I mentioned I had a German product that I'd be trying today. It's this guy here. This is from a company called Amio, and the product here is called the Power Breather. Amio reached out to me and suggested I might like to try this product, and I said, well, you know what? I would. And, by the way, I'm going to Fiji, so if you can ship it to me before then, I'll take it to Fiji, where I am right now, and I will do a lovely review for it and give you my thoughts. First of all, what makes this different to the Sea View 180? Well, it has no goggle, so you can use your own or you can use none, whatever you choose. I gotta say, these are predominantly made for swimming, for fitness. However, in their line, they do have the Wave Edition, which is suitable for outside ocean swimming. And all the product brochures I've seen for this product feature two goggles, swimming goggle style. I'm gonna use a regular dive mask. Possibly the first person to try one of these on a Amio power breather. We'll see how that works. Now, like I mentioned, they come in a few different varieties. The primary difference between the different versions is the size of the vent. It looks like I've been given a few different varieties of vents. The speed vent is the one that I need. So these guys are the longer ones. This just goes on here like this, one on either side. Now there is a simple way to put this thing on. Have it sitting 90 degrees like this. This is your mouthpiece, obviously. Have this sitting almost 90. I'll do it without goggles first, then I'll put the goggles on and try it. You put it in your mouth. And that's all there is to it. Now, like I said, they're not really designed for snorkel mask. So if you're gonna use swim goggles or dive goggles, it's recommended you put them on first. Goggle goes on first, and then the same process with this. Have it almost 90. It's a little bit tight, probably because of these clamps on the side of my goggle. This is one size fits all heads. Now I've got a fat head. I've always had a massively fat head. So I already struggle with this, but add that little bit of the clip to it and it makes it just a little bit bigger. If you were gonna change the size of it to fit a smaller head, it's very simple what you do. All you do is 
take these out and then you slide this up and down and that gives you a different size head fitting now i've got the fat head so i'm going to change it to the second largest fitting that should be big enough for a big fat head like me before i get in the water and test this i'll give you a quick little lesson if you like of how this is working this here is a specially designed membrane patented design from amio it's a mechanism that shuts and opens oxygen comes in the top here goes down into your mouth when you expel that oxygen it goes out the bottom here as bubbles if you are in the ocean like i am and it's a little bit rocky and wavy they have provided a little extra clip that goes on the top here which stops most of the water coming in however if water does enter the top of the snorkel and you haven't got the clip on like i haven't yet the water simply runs down the lowest point of the channel here and literally just drain straight out so you never get water in your mouth ever it's a unique experience because every other snorkel if you breathe in a little bit of water goes in the top it lands up in your mouth and then you have to spit it back out the way this is designed the lowest point the water runs down and straight out because the mouthpiece is higher than the lowest point of the design the water just trickles straight down and straight out let's take it for a spin Wow, that is really, really cool. It's a little different. The breathing you do, it's slightly different. I can't really explain how it's different. To start off with, before I went in, I didn't have it angled correctly. So when I was in the water, I just tilted it down a little bit. There's like a, a moment there where the, the membrane kicks in and you realize that, hey, hang on. I'm actually breathing the same as I would now, like right here. It's hard to really describe it. The best part about this, and this is what the CV 180 full face snorkel mask lacks, you could equalize. I'm gonna get back in, I'm gonna go into the water, I'm gonna see how the, the water mechanism works. Wow, this thing is really cool. <laughs> Excuse me. I haven't used a, a snorkel as user-friendly as this. It's kind of what I was hoping the Sea View 180 would have been. Something that would allow you to go underwater, equalize, expel any water that's coming the top, no worries. All right, so for the sake of the test here, I should try the speed vent. These are called speed vents because they're predominantly used for swimmers inside lap pools. When they get to the end of the pool, they've got to turn around and come back. You whack these on and it reduces the amount of water that's entering. Even though I've got to say, if any water did enter into this thing, I didn't know about it. I didn't feel any water in my mouth. There was no taste of salt water. So these just go on the top of that, one on either side. And that's your wave addition. That's how you should use it in the ocean. And if you're lucky enough to be in the Fijian ocean like I am, you need one of these. And speaking of needing one, I have got a coupon code. If you go to the powerbreather.com website and you purchase one of these and you enter this coupon code, gives a minute, all in uppercase, you will get 15% off. And that's shipping worldwide. That's 15% off your total order. If you mention gives a minute, all one word, all uppercase. Full disclosure, I get a little kickback. There's a, that's an affiliate link for me. I get a little kickback. I'm gonna get back in and test this. This is called the Amio Fresh Air System. Like I said, it's a patent design. I'm gonna test it again, because I'm pretty stoked. I want, I want water to come in, even though it's not gonna happen with the um, speed vents on, but I want water to come in. I wanna see, I just wanna see how rat this thing is.
What's really unique about the Amio fresh air system, I went under the water and I purposely tried to breathe in to get water to fill, to fill this thing up. And sure, you breathe enough in and it goes into your mouth. I came back up to the surface and I just let it roll, just waited. And this water, my mouth was open, the water trickled back into the membrane here and just dribbled out. The difference between a normal snorkel, you'd have to expel that yourself with a normal snorkel. You'd have to be like, and try to blow it back out the tube. With this, you don't need to. You just chill, you relax more. That's a pretty crucial thing when you're in the open ocean. I mean, this is an open ocean, but if you are out open ocean, you need to be relaxed. You need to have a clean, clear mindset so you can focus on what you're actually doing, which is observing nature. This thing, I'm really enjoying it. Remember I was telling you two days ago about Lost being filmed in Fiji or one of the islands in Fiji? Well, I can think of a couple of other movies. There's Blue Lagoon and Return to Blue Lagoon. And then there's also year old yeehaw favorite, Tom Hanks in Castaway. And I reckon I found some of the props from that film. Check this out. Wilson! This is the sunset deck and you can use this decking for all kinds of events. In this instance, this lovely couple from America are getting married here today. And that's what's happening right now. The photographer's up there. It's a beautiful scene, a beautiful place to get married. Congratulations to the happy couple. <laughs> I just went down to fill up my water bottle from the drinkable water and I got asked to film a wedding dance. This is pretty nice. You can get married here at Navutu Stars and the lovely couple that did asked me if I could just film their first dance and of course I said yes and that's a beautiful beautiful place to get married brought a tear to my eye and what else is going to bring a tear to my eye this evening we are going to have a sunset look at this it's going to happen over there I'm going to go back to the western point of the beach which is sort of around that bay and that's where I'm going to see a sunset tonight sunset wasn't the greatest you know get all excited for a cracker and then you kind of get thwarted but you know what still beautiful still great just not as great as I was anticipating you know what is here though a coconut tree with coconuts that I can easily access let's go and grab one and smash it open on a rock oh that's um we're out of time always running out of time on my vlog. Hey, if you like that content, please do me a solid and subscribe here. Check out the previous vlog here and check out a random vlog here. And if you like doing the snappity snappity clickety clack, that's photography. You might get a kick out of my Lightroom 6 presets here. Does that mean 20 seconds?